Going into Super Tuesday, the Democratic field had been narrowed down to four main candidates, which is a long way from the original 6,000. <laughs> and as the dust began to settle, it became clear there were two winners and two losers. Elizabeth Warren, one of the night's losers. You see, she failed to pick up a single state. And to add insult to injury, in her home state of Massachusetts, she came in third. Yeah, which is pretty rough. It's like if you came home to find your parents had replaced you with another child. <laughs> Just be like, sorry, honey, we'd like Joe Biden to be our daughter now. <laughs> but she wasn't the only one with a disappointing evening. Yeah, another candidate who hit a low point was Mike Bloomberg, former New York mayor and best person to sit behind at a concert. Because <laughs> after spending the GDP of a small country on his campaign, his quest for the nomination ended in failure. We come in with this Fox News alert. Super Tuesday made for a super shakeup. Democrat Mike Bloomberg today dropped out of the race after his dismal showing last night. Yesterday was a disaster for Bloomberg. He spent more than $500 million and won only a few dozen delegates. Last night campaigning in Florida, Bloomberg tried to sound upbeat. No matter how many delegates we win tonight, we have done something no one else thought was possible. That's right, we spent half a billion dollars to absolutely eat shit. <laughs> they said it couldn't be done, but we did it. We did it. I'm not gonna lie, I, I still can't believe Mike Bloomberg spent $500 million to not be president. <laughs> no, like, I'm also not gonna be the president, but I spent nothing, I... <laughs> no, so in a way, I feel like I saved $500 million, you know? <laughs> It really is, that's how I feel. And the funny thing is, the funny thing is, right before he dropped out, Bloomberg bought more TV airtime <laughs> that he doesn't need anymore. But I was thinking, like, since he's already paid for it, he should use it, right? He should just come on TV and share his random thoughts. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Bloomberg. Have you ever noticed you've never seen birds having sex? <laughs> Kinda weird, huh? Anyway, see you guys in the next ad break. You should just do that the whole time. Now, the reason Bloomberg is dropping out now after just one bad night is that you must remember he entered the race to be the moderate alternative to Bernie Sanders. But last night, the voters were very clear that they already know who they want their moderate candidates to be. The night belonged to Joe Biden. They don't call Super Tuesday for nothing. <laughs> The former vice president with a massive comeback on the biggest night of the primary so far. A fired up Joe Biden celebrating his historic night, racking up a string of commanding victories, including a clean sweep of states in the South and a stunning win in delegate rich Texas. The press and the pundits have declared the campaign dead. Tell that to the folks in Virginia, North Carolina, Alabama, Tennessee. Minnesota! Hey! That's, that's a Joe Biden we haven't seen in a while. Look at him, huh? Smiling, full of energy, naming states that actually exist. <laughs> no, cause let's be honest, let's be honest. We were all waiting for him to give a shout out to Pennsylvania. <laughs> I'm serious, I don't think I've seen Biden this happy since that time Obama taught him how to ride a bike. This has been a while, I mean. <laughs> And of course, of course, no Joe Biden speech would be complete without a few moments where the Wi-Fi dropped out. It's a good night. And it seems to be getting even better. By the way, this is my little sister, Valerie, and I'm Jill's husband. Oh, no, this is a... No, you switched on me. This is my wife, this is my sister. They switched on me. No, oh, Joe. Really? Joe Biden called his sister his wife? <laughs> That's an awkward mistake. And if you are gonna talk about your sister wife, you should have done it sooner because then you could have won Utah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and by the way, hi, I'm Mike Bloomberg. <laughs> I was thinking, how does a train turn around? Anyway, see you guys next ad break. <laughs> now. The sister-wife thing was just a silly gaffe that didn't derail the night. What did cause a bit of concern was when two protesters stormed the stage. 
During Biden's speech, protesters rushing the stage. You see it there coming within feet of the former vice president and Dr. Jill Biden, his wife. One woman was swiftly removed by the former vice president's body man. Then moments later, see it again, a second protester storming onto the stage. Simone Sanders, his senior advisor, yeah. she Look, just she comes out of nowhere. Flies on stage and rips one of the protesters off. Dr. Jill Biden protecting her husband by shoving off a protester that was storming the stage. Her response I'm a silly girl. Yo, 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 yo. That Jill Biden, see that? Stepped in and blocked that protester like a white lady Jackie Chan. Bam! <laughs> I mean, I knew she was a doctor. I just didn't know her PhD was an ass whipping. That was amazing. <laughs> And it, it wasn't just Biden's wife. Yeah, his senior campaign advisor, Simone Sanders, did you see that? She handled that protest like a professional bodyguard. Hell, <laughs> Biden's got more women protecting him than T'Challa. Like, he's just killing it out here. <laughs> no wonder he's winning the black vote. So overall, overall, it was a good night for Biden. But don't forget, this contest is far from over. Because this race is all about winning delegates, right? Not just states, but delegates. And even with his good night last night, Biden is still basically neck and neck with Bernie in the delegate count, All right? And up until this point, these two have been super friendly on the campaign trail, laughing, hugging at the debates. But something tells me those days might be over. This morning, it's now a two-man race. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders is already sharpening his attacks against Biden. One of us in this race led the opposition to the war in Iraq. You're looking at him. Another candidate voted for the war in Iraq. One of us has spent his entire life fighting against cuts in Social Security, ex wanting to expand Social Security. Another candidate has been on the floor of the Senate calling for cuts to Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, and veterans program. That's right. One of us is a bitch ass, the other person is me. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. Spread the word. Yeah, people, you can see the gloves are officially off. The dentures are in. <laughs> and things, things are about to get messy between these two. Not just because there's Vicks vapor up everywhere, no, because <laughs> This is the home stretch to find out who will be the Democratic nominee. And Bernie, if you're gonna attack Joe Biden, I wish you the best of luck. But remember not to get too close, because then you'll have to deal with Jill. <laughs>